Let's get into this. Walking Dead, season nine premiere. I might be rusty. It's been a while since I did one of these. We've been waiting on Walking Dead to come back. So, Jesus is dead. Rest in peace. He's died for our sins. Sound familiar? But did he kill Jesus? So we take off from from where we end off, man. Kill Jesus, man. The uh, this, the whisperers. The, we introduce to them. We finally see what this this mysterious group is. They're wearing masks. It's not the walkers have not uh not evolution evolutionalized or whatever whatever word I'm looking for. They have not evolved. <laughs> So, I'm starting this video off very rough, but Negan, Negan is on the loose. It, it's, it's funny, him and Ass Kicker, they're a little, uh, Judith Grimes, they're a little uh, situation. She kind of like lets him go, and she tells him, there's nothing out there for you. It is interesting to see his trajectory and see his role in this episode. Like you see him trying to... You see that he really doesn't know how to survive too much. Like whenever it was the saviors, they were taken from people. And there was a group and it was it had people working and all kind of stuff. So he was a leader of a big group. But by himself, he don't know how to, how to survive. Like he lost his supplies. He was trying to drink out of the lake water and stuff. No, you got to purify your water and everything. So he was making himself sick. He tried to go back to his old stomping grounds. And it's like... It's just like a metaphor for showing where his life went, like showing how his empire crumbled and, and showing the, the way that he lived his life and the choices he made, how they affected him to this point. Like you had everybody around you, but the way that you treated them and stuff, now you're all by yourself. So that is what I get from his storyline in this episode. So he winds up going back and we're going to see, I, I hope. I hope that he integrates himself into the group. They integrate him some somehow, because I re I kind of like Negan right right now. As long as he doesn't start the saviors up again and go against the group, I, I like Negan, man. Negan is a, is a good character. But then, on the other other end of the spectrum, so they bring Jesus home. Everybody, they find out that he died. They end up abducting one of one of the whisperers off off a path and stuff so they grab one of them if y'all don't know well by the end of the episode you know she she's telling uh daryl and them i don't know how many people there are there so it's only 10 of us and she was, uh, and she, i was watching i was like she's lying she's lying her ass off because i read comic books i've been telling y'all about the whisperers if you watch this this uh little segment and the Whisperers are a large group. They have a bunch of people. There's, there's a lot of numbers with the Whisperers. That is their biggest strength. And where the biggest strength is their numbers with people, plus they got all the walkers with them. So you fighting with the walkers, and they come out, so you don't know who to defend yourself against. You can't do the normal things. Like walkers, you can close the door or whatever. They can't open a lock. Or whatever shit. They can open the locks. They can give signals. They can have plans. They can fight. So it's a lot with the whisperers, man. It's going to be a tough time dispelling of of them. But Daryl and them is trying to talk to this girl. They're trying to get information out of her. They got the little dude in the other cell. Uh, I guess that's Carol's son, and he's talking. He's he's like, oh, I had to save you, and and he's talking to. Her. And she's going to try to pump him for information, pretty much. She And she's talking about that my mom and my mom. Her mom's is name, name is Alpha. She's the leader of them. Alpha is a bad mother. Shut your mouth. So it is going to be, be a tough time with them. What's, what's some key elements that happened in, the, in this episode? Uh, Eugene, he finally was about to profess his love for Rosita. She pregnant. I know what everybody's saying. Damn, she a hoe. I just report the news. Like, people I've been talking to, about, everybody's saying the same thing. They're like, damn, she a hoe. 
Like, is she a hoe because she got pregnant? No, because she and she, uh, Abraham, she with the governor's uh, son, and who else is she was just with this dude? Well, that's three. Who else? What, did she have, was she with one of the girls or something? I don't know. I don't know. She, she had, had a good, she had a good little people. I know it was more than three people. I know it was more than three people. She, she, she didn't have a lot. Yeah. She been getting her groove on in the post-apocalyptic Walking Dead era. So she been getting it in. So she about to have a baby. Why people, why people try, I guess they ain't got to no protection and they ain't got no, uh, Planned Parenthood and stuff like that, but I'm like, that's the worst time in the world to try to be having babies and stuff like, uh, but I guess there isn't anything they can do. So, huh, how were, are everybody, is everybody going to react to Jesus dying and stuff, man? Like, it looks like, it looked like, uh, Michonne is trying to make Daryl their leader. Like, somebody has to take the hams. Because homegirl, I forgot her name. I can't stand her. But she's leading him right now. She's smart. I guess she's smart. But she's not necessarily a leader. She ain't going to do dirty work. So they trying to convince to convince Daryl to take the lead of the hilltop. And so hopefully he'll do that. And he'll be more integrated into the groups as well. Because we want to see more Daryl, man. Like a lot of times, like. When Rick was around and stuff, Daryl, he'd show his face and then he'd go and brood somewhere and stuff. Like, Rick is gone. And Daryl signed a big contract with him. So, Daryl has to become more with the group. Negan, if he's going to stay on the show, he got to become more with the group. Especially with, with him and Judith relationship. I, I really like that. I really like that. That's, I don't know why. I, I think that's going to be cool. And hopefully... Their dynamic, it, it will lead to Negan being with the group and being able to help them against the Whisperers. I don't want to give too many spoilers. If if they go by the comic book, Negan will have a big impact on them beating the Whisperers. If they go by the comic book, we shall see. I'm trying the key elements in the episode. Well, I, I like whenever Negan went in the clothing shop. And he was trying to find a leather jacket and stuff, trying to find his himself again. But then the pit bulls got on his ass. That was that was a nice scene that they threw in there. That the wild dogs was after him and stuff. I like that. Uh, other things in the episode. There was there wasn't a lot of key moments or whatever. It was a good episode though, man. I I, I liked it. At the end, at the end, they're out looking for the group. They see arrows on the thing. They like. Like oh we they leading us to they giving us a track or, or whatever to follow, and it turned out to be the whisperers. So the whisperers they they have strategies they smart. It's gonna be hard messing with them, but it's starting off pretty good, man. A lot of people oh Walking Dead it's over, man. It's got boring. Ah, it's got boring. There was a lot of action and stuff in, in the episode, man. It was a pretty good episode to me. I hate that Rick is gone, but one thing that they seem to be integrating more of is something I always complained about. Is them not showing enough, enough of the cast. Like, usually episodes show that one person, and they show their, their little trajectory or wherever they go. Then the next episode, they follow one or two people. Like, it's becoming more of an ensemble cast. Like, this episode, they show Judah, uh... Judith, Daryl, Negan, Michonne, Eugene, Rosita, Jesus died and stuff. They, they showed a lot of people in, in the groups. They showed everybody except for, they didn't show the kingdom. But they, they showed a lot of people. Like, I, I like that, that dynamic. They, they showing the whisperers. They got the new person that they, that they didn't, didn't got. So, I'm, I'm liking that. I'm, I'm with The Walking Dead, man. Rick... He's going to have his movie or whatever at some point. So I'm waiting on that. But for, for now, for, for right here at the moment, I'm cool with Walking Dead. Shit, I'm liking it. See, I'm about to check out Talking Dead and see what, what uh, Easter eggs they show. See what something that I might have missed or whatever. But I, I just hope Negan don't go back to the jail. He probably will right off top. But I hope he 
comes and be more with the group. We shall see. And Lydia, I just seen her name on the TV. Lydia, she a lying hoe. There's more than 10 people in the Whispers and stuff. There's a lot of people. But you see that at the end of the episode. Like, comment, subscribe. Be the greatest of the most hated. You got beef? <laughs> Peace out.